In this video, we are going to be talking about the particle wave duality. Particle wave duality is a controversial topic in the world of quantum, but today I am going to be using an analogy to explain it to you. Picture an elephant. An elephant is easily identifiable by its large ears, tusks, long trunk, and large body. Now picture a horse. A horse also has its own set of defining features that allow us to identify it as a horse. Horses have a mane that extends from the top of their head down their long neck, they have muscular bodies, long tails, and a long face. Imagine you lived in a world where all the animals that existed were classified as either an elephant or a horse based on their characteristics or properties. And these animals are relatively easy to classify. But then one day, you're out taking a walk and all of a sudden you come across a new animal. This animal has features that resemble both an elephant's and a horse's. It has a large body that resembles that of an elephant's, its face is long and narrow like a horse's face, and it has a long neck that looks both like an elephant's trunk and a horse's neck. Your idea of the world's animals being made up of horses and elephants crumbles, and you're truly stumped. So, after much thought, you decide that this mysterious animal must be some sort of horse-elephant hybrid. Back in the day, physicists only classified things as either a particle or a wave, which was because most things did behave as either a particle or a wave. And the experiments in this time period really supported the idea of the world made up of only these two boxes. Box number one, particles, were things that behaved as particles. Particles are densely packed and they don't extend spatially. We observe particle-like behavior every single day. For example, when you're playing dodgeball and an opponent throws the ball at your face, the ball will follow a single trajectory path and it'll hurt when it hits you in the face. And then physicists had their second box, things that behave as waves. Things that behave as waves are spread out and most waves are massless. We see this type of behavior every day too. Toss a pebble in the pond and the water will ripple outwards. So, you can imagine that physicists were stumped when they realized that depending on the experiment and how they treated them, electrons would exhibit properties of either waves or particles. For example, when you have a beam of electrons shooting through a room, they extend out and behave like waves. But when the electrons hit the back of the wall, they will only hit in one single place. So, what did physicists do? They put electrons in both boxes. So if our physicists of the 19th century were shown this animal with properties of horse and other properties of elephant, rather than challenge their two-box view of the universe, they would decide that this new animal should go in both boxes, a duality of horse and elephant. To us, that might seem a little silly, but this really made a lot of sense to them. Of course, we know that a mysterious animal is not a horse-elephant duality. It's a different kind of animal altogether, a giraffe. Electrons are the same thing. No, not a giraffe, but they are quantum objects that have complex properties that sometimes resemble the properties of particles. But in atoms and molecules, what is most important for chemistry, these electrons behave with properties like waves.